Hello, Nate. How are you? What up? What's going on? You're not mad at me too, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, I played a game, uh, baby. Yeah, golly. Never got so much shit for having someone on the show before. Yeah, I know that's right. Yeah, that's right. How you feeling, Nate? Yeah, man, I feel good, man. Got some couple stitches, Damn. little new little black eyes. He come with a nice elbow, but I got the last laugh. You did, you did. I loved your line. Uh, I loved your line about what was it off the top of my head? It was like you got to get an ass. What was the line that you said? It was free. You're amazing with those lines on the microphone. I whip my ass and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> do you have to? Do you like that? Like, does that wake you up? Why? Why do you? Uh, why do you feel like that? Man, I don't know, man. I'm just a fighter, man. You know, I can't describe nothing. We just go in there and do what we do, and. Uh, when the blood hits the fan, it makes the pictures way better. <laughs> Were you expecting that early onslaught from him? Oh man, I, I knew watching him. Like his record says, he was three and three, but I think he beat Gigi, and I think he beat the Jenkins guy. So I was, I was feeling like he it was like, only had lost one fight due to that heel hook. Mm -hmm. So he, I mean, in a different. I feel like talent wise, he should have been maybe undefeated in the UFC. You know what I mean? But Mentally, I knew that he we went on the same level. I was going to break him no matter what. Mm -hmm. And and for you going into this fight, you were on that nice little run, and then the Ige fight. Did you feel any kind of pressure to get back on track? Like you didn't want to, you know, like that you wanted to continue that run that you had prior to that. No, man, it's just in my blood, man. You know, I'm a fighter's fighter. You know, we uh, I show up to fight these fights. You know, this is what I do. I'm, I'm now I'm four out of five in these last ones. Uh, four bonuses. Ever since I've been in the UFC, this, that was my eighth fight. Every fight has been a bonus. I came in, the Herbert Burns fight, he got a bonus. The next fight was the Darren Elkins fight. That was a bonus. The next fight was the Rosa fight. He got the bonus. Then I got the bonus. Then it was the fight at night bonus. The only fight that wasn't a bonus was the uh, Dan Ige fight. And that was the one. So basically, you win, you get a bonus. Yeah, basically, it's usually uh, the fans win. Right, that's right. Uh, did you did you did you know about the fact that you hadn't gotten a KOTK? Like, was that something that was on your mind that you felt like you wanted to get off your shoulders? Oh man, I've always wanted to jump on top. I mean, think about how many people's been in that octagon and never jumped on top of that cage. I knew I had to do something great to get up on there. Yeah, and what a great crowd, right? They really seem to like you, even though you're from uh, Tennessee. They really, I felt like uh, they really embraced you. No, man, something about people don't like too much easy wins. You know what I mean? People hate when it's real easy. So him beat me up a little bit was like, wow, you can get behind that. Mm -hmm. Coming back, you know, everybody likes a little comeback story. First fight as a dad, right? Yeah, man, that was good. So the 50 grand is going to help my boy for sure. H how old is he now? He just turned six months. Six months. And what's it been like? Man, uh, for me, I mean, it's not been much different, but for my wife, I mean, it's a whole lot more work for her. But I mean, I got to do my thing too, but mainly, you know, she's handling that. Sure. And and uh, what about the sleep? Or did you did you sleep elsewhere as, as you were in camp here? The, the sleep is nah, tough. Nah, when I, yeah, definitely. When I get, so I left. I go down to Miami for training. So I had to leave them. So that was tough. It was my first time leaving my family for a camp. So that was pretty tough. But, you know, I come from a military-based town. So pretty similar as joining the service. How long were you away for from them? Ten weeks, man. Ten weeks. But I flew back every two to three weeks just to see them for a quick weekend and then back. So the last time I seen them was three weeks ago. So, Damn. Yeah. Was yeah, it was yesterday the first time you saw them in that in that stretch? Like or did they didn't go to the fight, yeah. right? No, nah, no, nah, I just went ahead and I just told my wife, you know, there's it's cold up there, there's nothing really to do. Ain't no sense of flying all the way in just to be cooped up in a hotel room. So I kept her home. Yeah, was, first time I seen them in weeks was yesterday. Yeah, when I flew back to Nashville. Wow, on Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday, yeah. That's great. A little too young to do the eggs and the, the bunny rabbit thing, though, right? Yeah, he too young. I mean, we could do it, but he's not going to really remember that. Yeah, of course. Um, did you feel like a different person going in there as a dad fighting for the first time? Mm, 
not, not really, man. You compartmentalize all that, and you know, you don't, you don't put that kind of. A lot of people they put that pressure on themselves, different pressures. And man, I, this is just my passion. This is what I was called to do. This is what I do, and I, that's why. That's why I think I performed so well because I love this shit more than nothing else. But at the same time, I don't care about it like that. Yeah, but you know, as you mentioned, you do have a mouth to feed now, right? Another mouth to support. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I go for construction day in and day out, make ends meet. Sure. I'll never fail. You know what I mean? I'll never fail. I'll never. It'll never be a reason for me not to get. I got two hands, two feet. Uh, one day, if your son says to you, I want to be like daddy, I want to be a fighter, would you encourage that? <sighs> That's a tough one. I almost wouldn't. I almost wouldn't even wish, wish this life on my worst enemy, but I would try to discourage him. As that first little discouragement, and if he could get past that, then he, that's why I always tell people, don't do it. If if me telling you don't do it, it's going to break you, then you ain't got what it takes. You know what I mean? That's always that's always my go-to. I try, don't do it. Somebody tell me that one five, like, don't do it. Don't do it. If that little don't do it can break a man, then you ain't, you'll never be able to make it. Why wouldn't you wor- wish this on your worst enemy? Bro, it's a hard knock life, man. And this shit... It, this fight shit like falling in love with a neighborhood hoe. She ain't never gonna love you. <laughs> Damn, I never heard that before. That is a tremendous line. Have you always felt yeah, that way, or do you only feel it. that way now? No, man, I always knew it, man. It's like, you think about winning in general. You can give your whole life to win it. There's nothing that separates winners from losers except for the win. We do the same shit every day. We get up, work, 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 grind, put our whole lives in this. But think about it. The whole roster, half of them lost their lost last fight. It's not that they didn't work harder. Now they didn't put nothing into it. It's a fine line. You know, you go out there and put it on the line and you either win or lose. Yeah. Uh, it is tough. Do you still enjoy it as much as you did when you were starting out? Oh, I love it, dog. This is this in my blood. I love this more than more than I probably should. What do you mean by that? Why why shouldn't you love it to the extreme? <sighs> I don't know. It's just one of those things to where it's it's like a high, it's high. It's it's kind of like that's what when people ask me what's one of the takeaways from it, man. It it dole out the rest of them Saturdays out the year. It's hard to feel them blocks. You go out there and have a good time with your buddies. You're like, hey, I'm having a good time, but it ain't like that high off of winning. And you walk back to that backstage and everybody's treating you like you might even be something different. Mm-hmm. What's more intense, the high of winning or the the low that comes with losing? That's a good one. Uh, I don't think there's mentally. I think just the bounce back from losing would be the hardest thing to do. Okay. But for for me, it's always been real simple because I'm about that life. What do you mean by that when you say that? It's always just been in me, man. I just. I'm always about that. Just the next one is the best one, man. You know, for me, I was like growing up, you ain't really have, I was fast enough, but I wasn't the fastest, strong enough, not the strongest. So I was never able to rely on, you know, all right, I'm good. That's why I tell all my buddies, being good don't get the job done. You know what I'm saying? You could be the better than the person you're fighting, but that don't mean shit when you get in there. You know what I'm saying? You got to go out there and get that, make that happen. How are things in Clarksville? I know you guys had uh, some tough times recently with the the tornado. How are things now? Yeah, man. our city is resilient, man. We came together faster than the tornado hit. The turnout turnout hit, took minutes, and we was out there minutes later cleaning up. So our city is resilient and a uh, beautiful city, and we already rebuilt, and everything's almost back normal. Oh wow! Okay, and uh, as far as your family, your loved ones, your property, were you affected? No, I mean, it's crazy to think two streets over, there was a, like, car on somebody's rooftop, and my um, my garbage bin didn't even blow over. Wow, that's so crazy. It's tornadoes tornadoes are just wild when you think about how powerful and the way they jump and skip over. It's like, it's crazy. H- have there been a ton in Clarksville over the years? You know, it's, it's it's seeming like it's a little bit more regular now. When I was a kid, I can only remember one hit in the city in 99, 1999, one hit. And I think last year, one hit. We've had a couple scares. So it seems like 
whatever is happening, it's kind of switched over, like torn at an alley type, whatnot. But it definitely, like, I'm ready to give me a storm cellar. Yeah. Did you stay in your house when it was happening, or did you have to evacuate? Yeah. Crazy thing is, I, that was one of the weekends I had flew into town, so I was here. Yeah. Probably you probably would have felt God better, right? Here. As opposed to being away, right? Thank God I yeah. was here. Thank God I was here. But think about this. We're a big military base, so there was a lot of soldiers cross seas training or over there on, on duty that wasn't here for their families and how tra- traumatizing that must have been. So yeah. hats off to those guys. Damn. Um, did you feel like you were fighting for your town on Saturday as well? Man, I always fight for my city, baby. Yeah. Everywhere. I've, I mean, I've been all over the world, and the first thing I'm yelling is Clarksville. That's right. You represent them well. Yeah. I, it's I, a privilege and an honor. I, I love the way you fight because you, you, you really do seem to be enjoying everything. And then you take advantage of your time on the microphone and you feed off the crowd. Like, you're one of those guys, when I think of the guys who needs to be in front of a big crowd, who, who, who is putting on a show for them, but is also feeding off of their energy. Like, you're, you're quintessentially one of those people, in my opinion, one of those fighters. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I love it, man. I feel like uh, for a guy like me, this was, this was as close as I can get to what I was supposed to be. You know what I mean? Uh, probably in a real life, I should have been like uh, uh, some kind of warrior, ancient. You know what I mean? But in this time period, this is what we got to hang on to. I love it. So, um, obviously, you have to to heal up. Realistically, when could you return? Yeah, I was thinking about that, talking to my people. Probably to like late July. I mean, this thing pretty gnarly, yeah, so it's going to take a little while. <laughs> yeah, feeling sort of like uh, Frankenstein out here. Yeah. Uh, good thing I'm already married. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Well, my poor wife got to look at me. I'm like, oh, me, she pretty. I'm just looking yeah. at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking like the at the end of end of uh, July, probably maybe August. Just it's like timing wise, and uh, who's going to be available? And uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to get back too. I took that long layoff with the with my son being born, so. Yeah, it felt good to be back in that cage, man. Do do we have a uh, ideal opponent? The next one? I know you were supposed to fight Sabatini. You know, it's crazy to think about an ideal opponent the way the way it flows. Because the person you might want to fight, they might go out there and get beat up. Sure. And the person you ain't never thought about might rise up real quick. Like, look at that uh, Diego Lopez two years ago. Who was he? Now he's like, wow. Yeah. So you never know who's going to shine. Why you, if you got to take two months off, you never know who's going to be that guy. So do you ever see one? I would love to another crack at top 15. Fell short against Dan Ige. But, I mean, take away those two knockdowns. It was pretty close fight. You know what I mean? Well, keep doing your thing, my man. Great win. Great to see you back on track. Great stuff on the mic. Great stuff in the cage. Great stuff all week. Uh, heal up soon. And, again, congratulations on the baby. I appreciate it, man. All right, talk to you soon. There he is, the great Nate Landwehr, who had a massive win on Saturday against Jamal Emmers. It may have started off uh, a little bit dicey for him, but uh, he came back, got the stoppage win, and freaking nailed it on the microphone. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.